laser weapons have captivated the minds of militaries for decades. These futuristic marvels, which harness the formidable power of focused beams of light, hold the key to unleashing destructive energy to their targets with surgical precision. From secret labs to military compounds, global military organizations have worked relentlessly to develop this breakthrough technology. As a result of years of research and development, our selected few laser weapons have emerged, proving their metal and showcasing their potential for military use. Join us on an extraordinary journey as we reveal the various types of laser weapons that have been fully developed, rigorously tested, and partially deployed to embrace the unparalleled cutting-edge technology that is reshaping the face of modern warfare. Be aware that numerous laser weapons are currently being developed. But for this particular video, we will only look at laser weapons that have successfully finished their development phase. Number 1. ANSEEK-3 Laser Weapon System The ANSEEK-3 Laser Weapon System, also known as the XN-1 Laws, is a directed energy weapon developed by the United States Navy. It was primarily designed to provide a ship-based defense capability against aerial threats such as unmanned aerial vehicles, helicopters, and small boats. It utilizes a solid-state laser technology to generate a directed energy beam. It is designed to be mounted on naval vessels, such as cruisers and destroyers, and integrated into their existing combat systems. The laser system is capable of tracking and engaging targets with precision, using its high-energy laser beam to disable or destroy them. Its solid-state laser array is capable of emitting a focused infrared beam. This high-energy beam can be modulated to achieve different output levels, enabling a range of tactical applications, from warning or crippling enemy sensors to outright destroying targets. The versatility of the laws offers unparalleled advantages over conventional projectile-based weapons. One of the most significant advantages of the laws is its cost efficiency. Unlike traditional weapons, which require extensive manufacturing, storage, and transportation processes, the laws operates on a minimal per shot cost. This streamlined approach not only saves resources, but also provides a strategic advantage by enabling continuous, sustained engagement without the constraints imposed by ammunition limitations. The adaptability of the laws empowers naval forces to confront a wide array of threats. Its scalable power levels allow for non-lethal engagements, such as dazzling an individual's eyes, to deter potential threats. At the high end of its power spectrum, reaching up to 30 kilowatts, the laws can swiftly neutralize unmanned aerial vehicles by targeting vital points with deadly accuracy. When faced with small boats, the laws can selectively disable their motors, incapacitating them within seconds and creating a ripple effect of deterrence. Suslands These Suslands is a solid-state laser weapon developed for the US military by Sparta Inc. and Navio Tektiv. It is used to deactivate surface landmines, improvised explosive devices, and abandoned ordnance. The technology incorporates a moderate PO commercial solid-state laser and beam management system onto a Humvee, allowing it to clear mines and ordnance from supply lines and minefields. It uses a 10 kW solid-state heat capacity laser beam to heat the target ordnance causing the explosive filler to ignite and burn with minimum explosion and collateral damage. This method of neutralization is independent of the sort of fusing employed in the individual ordnance, making it adaptable. The system has proven to be effective at engaging targets between 25 and 300 meters away, as long as they are in line of sight, with the potential to fire up to 2,000 times per day. It was deployed to Afghanistan as part of Operation Enduring Freedom in March 2003. It was based at Bagram Air Base and effectively neutralized over 200 different types of explosives, including 51 in a single 100-minute span. Yet it had a 0.5 kilowatt laser at the time. 
It was also sent to Iraq to assist with explosive ordnance disposal operations. It was used as part of a three-vehicle convoy protection strategy to improve security and remove mines and explosive ordnance in the area. Boeing Laser Avenger The Boeing Laser Avenger is a directed energy weapon system developed by Boeing Defense, Space and Security. It combines a high-energy laser with a mobile, all-terrain vehicle platform, specifically the Humvee. The Laser Avenger system was designed to provide a mobile, ground-based defense against threats such as unmanned aerial vehicles and rockets, artillery, and mortar projectiles. It is primarily intended for shut-range air defense and counter-ram missions. The Laser Avenger system utilizes a solid-state laser, specifically a high-energy chemical laser, to engage and destroy targets. The laser is mounted on a stabilized turret atop the Humvee platform, allowing for precise aiming and tracking of targets. The system is equipped with sensors and tracking systems that can detect and engage multiple targets simultaneously. In December 2008, the Laser Avenger underwent testing at the White Sands Missile Range. It successfully achieved its primary objectives by targeting and tracking three small unmanned aerial vehicles flying against the backdrop of complex terrain. This marked the first time a combat vehicle utilized a laser to shoot down a UAV. As part of the demonstration against UAV threats, Boeing also conducted a successful test firing of a lightweight 25mm machine gun from the Laser Avenger platform exploring the hybrid directed energy or kinetic energy capability. Silent Hunter Laser Weapon The Silent Hunter is an anti-drone laser weapon developed in China by Poly Technologies. It is an improved version of the 30 kW low-altitude laser defending system and is available in both fixed and mobile versions. It uses an electrically powered fiber optic laser and according to one Poly official, has a maximum power that is between 30 and 100 kilowatts and a maximum range of 4 kilometers. Although it is primarily designed to search, track, and destroy low-flying drones, it is powerful enough to ablate or penetrate 5 2 mm steel plates at a range of 800 meters or a single 5 mm steel plate at 1,000 meters. It has been used by Saudi Arabia to guard against Houthi drones and missiles. So far, eight systems have been spotted and are used in conjunction with truck-mounted 3D TWA radar optimized for detecting low-flying drones. Perez VET Laser Weapon The Perez VET Laser Weapon is a directed energy laser weapon developed by Russia. Its existence was announced by Russian President Vladimir Putin in March 2018 during his annual address to the Federal Assembly. The exact specifications and capabilities of this laser weapon are not publicly known due to the limited information available. However, it is believed to be a high-energy laser system designed for military applications. It is reportedly integrated into Russia's strategic infrastructure and is said to be capable of targeting and disabling enemy optical electronic equipment, such as drones or satellites. The Perez VET laser weapon is part of Russia's efforts to develop advanced military technologies, including directed energy weapons, as a means to enhance its defense capabilities. However, due to the limited information available, it is difficult to provide precise details about its operational status, power output, or specific applications. During the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine in May 2022, Yuri Borisov, the Russian Deputy Prime Minister, made statements regarding an upgraded version of the Perez VET laser system called Zadra. According to Borisov, Russian military units deployed in Ukraine were utilizing this advanced system. He claimed that the Zadra system had the capability to completely incinerate targets within a range of three miles in just five seconds. Borisov emphasized that while the Perez VET system could blind targets, the new generation of laser weapons, represented by Zadra, had the ability to physically destroy the target by burning it. 
Borisov further asserted that the Zadra system possessed the capacity to blind enemy satellites orbiting up to 1,500 kilometers away. He claimed that through laser irradiation, the system could disable these satellites during their fly past, rendering them inoperable. Tactical High Energy Laser The Tactical High Energy Laser was a military laser developed jointly by the United States and Israel. The project involved the creation of a laser system called the Demonstrator, which utilized advanced deuterium fluoride chemical laser technology. Between 2000 and 2001, it successfully intercepted and destroyed 28 Katyusha artillery rockets, along with five artillery shells. Additionally, it also effectively shot down an incoming artillery shell. The prototype weapon had a considerable size, comparable to six citibuses, and consisted of various modules. These modules housed essential components such as a command center, radar system, target tracking telescope, the chemical laser itself, fuel and reagent tanks, and a rotating mirror used to direct the laser beam towards moving targets. The laser system seemed promising, but unfortunately, due to the high cost of maintenance and operation, the project was discontinued in 2005. 